I will begin by taking the top blanket off because I'm going to reuse it. I'm going to remove all of the top linens and put in the linen hamper. As I'm doing this, I want to make sure that my patient is tolerating lying on their side. Now I will loosen the bottom linens. And I'm going to be rolling them towards my patient. And I will tuck it under the old linens. If your linens are wet or soiled, you can use a blue absorbent pad or a draw sheet to protect your clean linens. Next, I will place my draw sheet. I will tuck under my clean sheet. I want to make sure that I don't have wrinkles in my sheets. I will put the side rail up. Now I will assist my patient in rolling over in the bed over the lump of linen and I will let her know that she's going to be rolling over a bump in the bed. I'm going to be moving to the other side. I want to keep a hand on my patient as I'm doing so. And I will remove the old linen. I'm careful to fold it in on itself. I will dispose of in my laundry hamper. Now I will pull the clean linen through and tuck it in. I will assist my patient to rolling back to the center of the bed. Now I will cover my patient with her top sheet and bed spread. Never fluff linens, we unfold them carefully. I let the end of the sheet drip over the end of the bed, and now I will put on my bedspread. I will take the sheet and fold it over the top. Now I will tuck the sheet in the bottom of the bed. I will do a hospital corner. I want to tuck the bottom blanket. Then I want to go about 15 inches up, holding the end of the bedspread, bring it up. Now I'm making a triangle from the corner and tuck under the mattress. I take my triangle and place it over the side of the bed so that I have a triangle at my corner. After doing this on the other side, I will loosen the sheets and blanket at the bottom of the bed so as to prevent foot drop to my patient. I will change the pillowcase. I'm going to support my patient's head and neck, remove the pillow, gently placing their head down. I'm going to hold the pillow away from me and remove the old pillowcase. And place in the laundry hamper. An easy way to replace the pillowcase is to take your hand, put it on the inside of the pillowcase at the, the end seam in the very center, and pinch. I want to take my other hand and grab hold of that center piece and place the pillowcase under my arm. Now, with this hand, I can grab the end of the pillow and put the pillowcase on. I will place it on my patient's head, supporting their head and neck gently. We'll now raise the head of her bed and put the bed in the lowest position. I will now remove my gloves and wash my hands.